Welcome to hell. <laughs> yes. Welcome to hell. This is hell, ladies and gentlemen. This is hell. Last stop, hell. Not hell difficulty, don't be confused. Don't be confused. This is not hell difficulty. This is just hell. Just plain old hell. Now then, we've decided that Kleeglaw's stuff is useless. Yes, we have. Oh, yes, we have. And we decided that those gems are useless. Oh, those jewels, I'm sorry. Jewels are useless. And we've also decided that I am a complete nut job for thinking that socketing a chainmail was a good idea. So that's where we stand. Also, I stand here. And here. And here. I'll tell you what I need. I need some stuff. It's cold as it is. And that's a dog barking. Damn it. Ooh, that's a good pike. Hmm. 26, that's 27, 27. Alright then. Now what do you have for armor? You've got that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that armor that has fire resist on it. And where's the O button? There it is. I'll give you that. Now you have max fire resist, you lucky bastard. And we'll be on our merry way. Our trek into hell is just beginning. Oh well, he's not going to get the bonus. His loss. Oh, why is it lagging? I hate it when it does that. And I need mana steel and life steel. I need mana and life steel. Ooh, and I need fire resist too. I am not gonna last long here if I have the fire resist that I do now. Oh, why is this such laggy? Oh, why is it so laggy? Rejuvenation potion, greater healing potion, that stuff. Now oh, pick up the gold, douchebag. the experience shrine. That's something we could all use. Ooh, super healing potion. And for the frenzy barb, it's actually uh, rule of thumb, you don't max out frenzy. Because then you'd be going at ungodly speed. So I'm only, I'm only going to uh, cap it off at level 10 for a skill level for Frenzy. I'm only going to do it until level 10, and then I'm going to put some into Masteries and uh, 
natural resistance. Because I'm going to need natural resistance for hell difficulty. Oh, Grand Scepter. And I might do some leveling off screen. Just letting you know. Trapped souls. You know, those souls, they're being tortured and they're in anguish, and the last thing they want to do is have somebody come up to them and kick them in the face. And take their money or whatever little possessions they have left on their bodies when they have been dragged into hell. But no, this hero comes along and kicks them in the face. And takes their stuff. I mean, how would that make you feel? Honestly. That, that, that would make you feel pretty... No, that would make you feel pretty crappy. It's like, how can things get any worse? I'm in hell. I'm being tortured. I'm in anguish. Oh, jeez, this guy came and kicked me in the face. And he's not even a minion of hell. They do that every day, but they don't take my stuff. Now this guy comes along, he kicks me in the face, and he takes my stuff. How messed up is that? Leapers. My uh, four plus four mana after each kill really isn't doing much anymore because I'm not really killing them in one hit anymore. I can't kill them in one hit anymore. And that's uh, not being very good for the balance of my uh, mana. My mana is unbalanced now. Oh shit. This is going to end badly for one party or another. And it just so happens that I came out victorious. Oh yes. You know what, I'm probably going to uh, str switch over to uh, double swing until I can get enough mana steel. That's what I'm going to do. Because it doesn't really take much to bring these guys down as it is. Ah, shit. Okay, so I lied. It takes a little bit more to take these guys down than I expected. But, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What can you do? What can you do? There's another thing that I've noticed about Barbarian Helms. Another thing, something I've noticed about Barbarian Helms is they mainly give bonuses to masteries and not to combat skills or anything. That's just what I noticed. I'm kicking you in the face, taking your stuff. Yeah, that's just what I noticed. It's kind of weird. Yeah.
He's the one that has the full fire resist. I'm going to let him deal with those guys while I deal with these guys. Hold on a sec, that's the phone. Alright, sorry about that. So where were we? Oh yes, killing things. Just like always. Where is Iswal? He's usually around here somewhere. Oh no. No spitting fire in my face. Leave your parlor tricks back at the circus. Come see the amazing fire spitter, only at the big top circus. Then, where is Iswal? Jeez. Oh, Iswal, come out and play. I'll take those. And those. Come out and play, Iswal. need that. And suddenly he gets blasted by fire. Don't! Come on. Seriously? There's this many of you. This is only on the outer steps of hell. Ooh, sapphire. No, I want Iswal. Where is Iswal? Iswal, come out and play. I've got two sharp presents for you. I want you to meet them. They have names, you know. And I have not formally introduced them yet. The one in my right hand is Eeny, and the one in my left hand is Meeny. Okay, seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Where could he be hiding? It's not like Iswal to hide. Usually he's out torturing children or eating babies. But hiding? No. Unless he plays hide and seek with his victims before he kills them. <laughs> 